Whether your church will celebrate the Blessed Sacrament of Holy Communion every week or at every service or only occasionally, there will be times when you, as a church musician, are required to take leadership of the music throughout the distribution of the blessed bread and wine. And as this occurs, we have to realize that it takes time, but we really don't know precisely how much time this act takes. It's going to vary depending on the number of people who are in attendance at the service and on so many other variables. In many churches and cathedrals, you'll find that the distribution of Holy Communion is accompanied by music. It's usually quiet music. Uh, sometimes it's a communion anthem that's sung during distribution, and sometimes there's one or more communion hymns. If you are uh, finding that you've sung your communion anthem and your communion hymn, and there's still need for the wrapping up of the activity around the altar, you may need to extend this time. It could take anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. And this is where your improvisatory skill comes in. Also, it, it will require, in a, some cases, your modulatory skills. That is, from getting from one key to another. Let's say we just ended singing, for instance, the Lamb of God, uh, Agnus Dei. And let's say that it ends in G. This may not be what you have, but just for an example, and that we're going to be moving to the key of F. This is from G major to F major. And we're going to do this smoothly while bridging the gap between the last singing we did and the next singing. This is our sung response. I will move up to the swell division because I can close that down. Most swell divisions are under expression. I'm drawing a quiet combination of strings and I'm starting on the key note that we ended on. At this point, I am playing a pedal point. It's a D pedal point, which happens to be the dominant scale degree in the key of G, which we ended in. And I can continue to improvise over this pedal point for any amount of time I want. Okay, now introducing the next motive of what we're going to sing. In this case, it would be a hymn. Here's our tune. And here I am taking that theme, that phrase, and extending it. Rather than playing the next phrase of the hymn, I'm going ahead and extending the improvisation because again, these are variables and we have to be flexible with our time. Now in the parallel minor, same motive, moving to G in the pedal because that will be my secondary dominant if you're a theorist. And then to C, which leads us to F. bring back my motive one more time if I need to because again we may need to stretch for time. You 
You see what I did there? I took the phrase and I broke it up into two parts. Because it's improvisatory, you are free to do that type of breaking up and extending. And so I'm still now on my C note in the pedal, which is now the dominant pedal point in the key of F major. And then finally, resolve. And then when I go to introduce at the very end of the activity, we hit our piston and proceed with the hymn. And people will know that that's an introduction or a cue to sing. So one way to guide yourself through this is to know in advance, always know in advance and plan in advance how this is going to happen and use manuscript paper, music manuscript paper and pen or pencil. Sketch out the key points of how you're going to get from one key and one response to another key and the next response. And depending on how much time is needed, you'll have these four key points, sort of like milestones, markers, and you'll be able to follow, engage your way smoothly so that whenever communion is done, you also are finished and ready to go on with the service. Mm -hmm.